Hi there, DW Berman here, back again with another quick little LightWave tip uh, video. Uh, this week it's showing you how to use DP Kit to make some uh, vertical or, or some Venetian blinds uh, twist. If I hit play here, you'll see I have them turning. And these are actually being controlled by this null here in the middle. It's actually the bank of the null. There are several ways to, to set up a control like that. Um, I'm just going to show you the quickest, simplest one I know. Um, if I come over here to Modeler, you can see that I have... This is really just very simple geometry. It's uh, all in one layer. So there's the, the pivot point for the object is in the middle. So uh, the neat thing with DP Kit part move is it will uh, you can set the pivot point. Well, the pivot point will be centered on each part, uh, at least by default. So let's uh, delve into how to set this up. So let me go back to uh, Lightwave, or Layout, and I'm going to clear the scene. Clear. Okay, let me load in my object, and I'm just going to do it this way because it might be a little faster, at least it would be if I didn't stop and talk about it. Okay, so here is my fantastic uh, object. Isn't it amazing? It's a marvel of modern engineering. Yeah, right. Okay, um, what I want to go is I want to go to the blinds, properties, and under the deform tab I want to add displacement. Um, where is it? Displacement? No, I don't. I will want to go to uh, Edit Nodes. Enable the nodes, click the Edit Nodes button, and that brings up my node editor. Okay, let me change my viewport here so you can see a couple things at once. Alright, now let me go to DP Kit, which is a freely downloadable plugin. And part of DP Kit is this displacement section, and in displacement you have poly move, part move. Part move is what I want. Double click part move, and I'm just going to drag the delta and plug it into the input on the displacement uh, destination, I guess. Uh, let's see. If I come in here and I change my random part pivot, random part offset. Actually, I want to plug something into the rotation here. So let me go to constant. I'm going to add a vector. I'm just going to plug that in to rotate. And look, it's gone crazy. I don't want it to do that. So let me uh, zero these all out. And this is heading pitch and bank. And we actually want to rotate this on the pitch of the part. So on the Y channel, you can see it's moving if I drag this over, but it's really small increments. So let me just do 0 0.2, maybe even 0 0.6. Yeah, one is not quite close. So I'm just kind of doing a little trial and error to figure out how far I want these to go before they bump into each other. So this is really almost irrelevant. So anyway, I can animate this value by itself by just clicking the E here. And that brings up my graph editor. And let me make a keyframe by hitting the Enter on the numeric keypad. And that sets a create key, set the value at frame 0, and set the value to 1.4. Now let's say I want this to rotate all the way in the other direction. I'm gonna, just going to click my little key here with a plus next to it to add a key. And I'm going to go the opposite direction, so I can do negative 1.4. So there we go. It's just going from one side to the other. That's my animation. Isn't that exciting? But what if you want to have an animation control in your uh, user viewport for handling that? Okay, we can do that next by hitting Control or Command N to make a new null. And I'll do, I'll just name this Blind Control Null. I just moved that out there. We have this null. We want to turn the null in order to turn the blinds. There are several ways to make that connection to make that link. 
Um, I'm just going to do it all right here in the node editor because it's uh, pretty quick. You may find it simpler to use channel follower or something like that because this isn't a perfect solution, but it does work. So I want to find item info. So item info, double click to add that to the node editor. And uh, let me get rid of the vector here, delete. And um, double click this to let me select the node and I want the blinds control null and that will pick that. And let's see, I want to run rotation out into I want to run, run the rotation from the null into the part move. And now when I rotate the blinds control null, let's try rotating it on the pitch. Unfortunately, it doesn't update real time, but there we go. It's actually running the opposite, but there you have it. Simply ran, and here's the entire node network of you know these complicated node setups. It's um, item info for this control null, and I have the rotation from that running into the rotate on the part move null, which is that free one from uh, Dennis Pontanier, the part of the DP kit. And that runs into displacement. And we got to that through this uh, object properties. Uh, let me get onto the correct object. And we just, yeah, the node editor, edit nodes. And that's all there is to setting up uh, this rotating node. No messing with multiple layers, each one with its own pivot point. So it's a very simple setup. Um, hopefully you'll find it useful. And maybe this will just spark you into uh, t to coming up with other ideas for how to use uh, part move because it's a really cool little free tool. Uh, let me uh, rotate this back the other way. Um, consider subscribing to this channel so you can see more videos when I whenever I get around to posting them. <laughs> uh, generally, I like to try to keep it weekly, but uh, I've had some have been busy lately. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to this channel. Uh, support uh, Dennis Pontanier uh, by giving him a donation um, if you use his plugins. Um, and also, uh, check out my videos on uh, liberty3d.com. I have some longer full-length project tutorials uh, that, that uh, you might find helpful. And uh, thanks again. Have a great day.